Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you guys again. A lot of my viewers have been requesting for my honest reaction of this video, Officially Missing You, a duet cover by Asia's Phoenix, Morissette Ammon, and Jej Vincent. Obviously, I know who Morissette is, but it is my first time to uh, encounter the name of Jej Vincent. As you all know, I've been living under a rock. So I looked him up and I found out that he was one of the contenders of the voice of the United States of America and he was under the team of Kelly Clarkson and he made it to the top 13. Which if you ask me, is already a feat in itself. It sure is not easy to compete in such an arena and of course to make it that far. So I'm sure this guy has the pipes. But this will actually be the first video of him that I'll be watching. But before anything else, to those who haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos to get a chance to win prizes. The full mechanics are explained in one of my previous videos and of course the link is just above. So check it out. Officially Missing You, a song from the year 2003, covered by Morissette Ammon and Judge Vincent. Let's do this. This is for, let's keep the hugot going. This is for those who have been in a relationship, pero nag-break. Pero hindi kayo maka-move on! Ayan! Me! Just kidding. Ayan! Pero nami-miss nyo! I'm sure everyone Wokon, can relate to that song. <laughs> Pero it's only human na nami-miss natin na yung mga taong yan. Morissette looks very different with that hairdo. I'm not used to it, but she looks cool. I'm not sure if boho is the right term for this kind of look. Jej, on the other hand, looks really young. He looks like a college student, actually. Wow, those are some pretty deep notes there. She almost sounds like an alto here. I don't think I've ever heard her hit these many low notes at one time. Pretty cool. I love how all her low notes are so audible. Is there anything this girl can't do? Because obviously, she is widely known for her insanely strong upper register. But her low notes here are very, very nice. Kind of reminds me of a young Mariah Carey. Let's continue. Great blending. Their voices came together really, really well. So far, everything sounds smooth, so that's good. Let's see. Okay, first, it's not easy to sing falsetto without sounding shrill. 
it takes a lot of control. But Jed here sounds pretty nice. Let's continue. His riffs and runs are pretty good. The song suits him very well. And it just occurred to me that we are actually watching two The Voice finalists here jamming with each other. Interesting, isn't it? Quite a lot of riffs and runs there. For those who are not too keen on this kind of singing, they might find it too much. But for me, I'm impressed. It takes a certain amount of vocal agility to hit all of those notes correctly. And I must say, he's doing good. Okay, wait. I think Jedge just went a little off key there. Just a bit. And he got a little lost there. But it happens. It happens to the best of singers. After all, they are human. And I don't think it's that big of a deal, honestly. As usual, Morissette's notes are just on point. You can really see that she is a seasoned performer as young as she is. Let's continue. For me, it's harder for a male singer to shift from chest voice to falsetto and back and forth only because it is a disconnected register unlike a female's chest to head voice but props to Jedge he's handling these registers quite well he knows how to use them sorry to pause there i'm loving her mid notes and the way she goes back and forth with her registers but the last riff there can be a little bit cleaner. Perfect runs for Jej there. That sounds really good. Both of their ad libs, nothing to critique at all. All good. Again, ding ding ding. Perfect score for Morissette there, hitting all those notes precisely, even the very short notes in between. Great job. Okay, Jedge just went slightly flat there in the word mind. Sometimes when you're doing a duet with someone who sings all the notes so perfectly, like Morissette, the slightest sharp or flat that we normally wouldn't even notice becomes pretty obvious because all of these notes are supposed to blend together. I like how Morissette is just like having fun, like no pressure, whatever. I know I'm going to nail this.
great blending. I actually love Judge Vincent's voice, but I have to say that he needs to be a little bit more careful with his notes and his vibrato when he's doing all those riffs and runs. There are a few instances when he gets a little bit pitchy. Morissette, on the other hand, giving us another flawless performance. I specifically love her falsetto at the end. Yeah, there you go. Perfect score for Judge here. Whoa, that is low. I think a D3, which is an alto note. I think by this time she's just showing off, showing us that she could do anything from the range of alto to soprano, but it's amazing. Oh, alto. <laughs> Hey, with that level of perfection, it almost sounds like a studio recording, not a live performance. It's absolutely amazing. Moving on. Like that impromptu thing. Wow! Boris and Amon, everybody, grab it, grab it. You're so good. So. I therefore conclude that it is so hard to sing with Morissette because you have to step up every time to match her level of perfection. Of course, Morissette might have, again, I'm saying might because I'm not sure, might have more experience under her belt. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because this is not a competition. It is all about two people coming together, making beautiful music together. That said, I really appreciated this performance. I enjoyed it. To my viewers out there, I'm sure I'm going to get some hate again for dishing out a few negative comments. But please, please do not expect me to just say all the nice things. After all, don't you want an honest reaction? Rest assured though that when I give my compliments, they are sincere. Of course, we all have our own preferences. Sometimes we hear things differently. I'm not here to bash anyone, just to give my honest feedback, which is from my own point of view, the way I see things, the way I hear them, which I'm sharing with you. I'm not trying to force my opinions down anyone's throat. With all that said, I really do welcome all of your comments because I'd really love to hear what you have to say. But, just remember to always keep things respectful. I believe we can always agree or disagree without being disrespectful or nasty. With that, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in Max 2. Stay safe and happy everyone. Take care.